All right, thanks for clicking on the video. This is God Pain. Uh, happy Halloween and just a, well, a kind of a special video today. So I'm just going to um, go through a, a ranking that um, I was listening to a podcast uh, a while ago called uh, Retronauts. Um, basically, I, sub I subscribe to a YouTube channel um, by Jeremy Parrish and he's got like really good uh, sort of um, reviews of games from like the 80s and stuff and 90s. Uh, but he goes through like every single Nintendo game. It's very well written. He's like a video game journalist, I think. So um, I really like his uh, his videos. And he has a podcast, or I think he started a podcast called Retronauts. And um, there's loads of um, topics they discuss, and there's different like um, people on the panel as well. It's it's a pretty good podcast. They do sometimes talk over each other, which is annoying. I hate when when you have a podcast and there's more than two people, and they basically talk over each other. Or, you know, one of them doesn't have a microphone, an external mic, and all they have is like, you know, they're just talking into their phone or something. So the audio is pretty good, and the um, the guests they have on the show are pretty good as well. They seem to be pretty knowledgeable. So it's more sort of like a kind of an ap academic approach to um, uh, to the kind of discussion of video games, which I really like. Uh, but, um, yeah, they've done this uh, really good uh, ranking called the Resident Evil um, Ranking Hootenanny. I think that's what it was called anyway. They've done it for like Contra and um, other kind of games as well. But what they did was they took uh, 14, sorry, 17 games. Um, the Resident Evil, they just picked like the 17 of the main series. So the ones they included were like, um, you know, Resident Evil 0, Resident Evil 1, Resident Evil 1 Remake, because they're like significantly different games. 2, 2 Remake, 3, 3 Remake, 4, 4 Remake, uh, Code Veronica, Revelations 1 and 2, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, obviously. Um, I think that was pretty much it, actually. There was 17 in total. Anyway, I have them written down here because what they did was, they, I think they took, like, four people um, and they basically just, like, they put them in order. So, like, the highest score is the worst game and the lowest score is the best game. So, like, w whichever game you'd have at number one, you would give that, you know, one point... And then basically like with four or five different people, you add up all the scores and then whichever sort of like score is the lowest, that's the best game. And then the second lowest is the, the second best game. So it was kind of interesting because a lot of the um, presenters like had vastly different views on sort of the quality of, of each Resident Evil game. Obviously, if you're like sort of like coming into the coming into Resident Evil more recently, you probably might acclimate more to like, you know, Resident Evil 7 and 8, the first person perspective um, kind of games. Or if you're kind of a more retro fan, you might go for like, you know, Resident Evil 2 or 3 as your, your top one. So it does lead to um, a kind of a wide array of scores. So what I'd like to do uh, for Halloween is um, I am going to ask people uh, to either put in the comments or make a video yourself of your uh, ranking. So I'll go through my ranking here in this video just as an example. And then if I can get a few people, I'll make an, an additional video um, on this topic with like, if I don't know if they're like, if one person does it, that'd be great. Then I can actually make another video. Um, yeah, I'll make another video and then I'll add up all the scores and then we'll basically have like a proper ranking, not just like my ranking, but uh, the ranking of, um, of multiple different people as well. So what they did on Retronauts was they basically went through each game and they talked about sort of like each game and uh, then kind of gave their score. So then they gave their score each, but they did the games like chronologically. So they started off at Resident Evil 1 and then basically, I think so anyway, and um, then Resident Evil 2, 3, obviously those games from the 90s. And then each one gave their score. So they didn't necessarily start off with like, you know, I think like this game is the best. So I'm going to put it at number one. Uh, they went through them chronologically and everyone gave their score. So then they were able to add up each game. Um, the score of each game so i think that's actually a better idea i might i think i'll do that for the next video so this is just um a kind of a call a call for co contributors a call for papers i'm doing a resident evil conference here so i'm going to call for papers or call for contributors so all you have to do is um i have i'll put the 17 resident evil games in in the 
in the um, information in this video so you just have to rank them in order and then put your ranking in the comments or make a video yourself obviously if you make a video of your video of yourself don't, or video yourself don't forget to uh, link the video to me as well so yeah so i'll just run through it one last time so basically you've got the 17 games you put them in order so like the um your number one game like my number one game i'll just give my number one game away is resident evil zero so i put that number one and then number 10 for me is like resident evil 5 and then i had to put um number 17 as resident evil 4 remake because that's the only one i haven't played so far so you put them in order from 1 to 17 so your best one to your worst one so your worst like it's hard to pick a worst resident evil because they're all like really good so you kind of have to be selective and kind of what's your what's your favorite one at the moment that's kind of the way i had to do it uh, so let me know if that makes sense in the comment section below hopefully a couple of people do it so we can get um, my scores and then add them to like maybe like one or two other people and then we'll have a proper ranking hoot nanny so uh, thank you very much for watching thanks for listening and happy halloween Jill, here's a lock pick it might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it.